Lexi are the Doobie Brothers. What a piece of music written and performed by the Doobie Brothers. Welcome to Undergrowth TV, round they, six. Did they play that with a helmet on? I can't remember. No, they didn't. No. Maybe they should have. Get you bopping, doesn't it? Go on, get you hot too. Just... Yeah, it does. Uh, hot and sweaty and sexy. Um, cheers, cheers, cheers. All the best. Um, rugby League, round six. You know, the round five, the week that was. Great week. A couple of issues, a couple of dramas, a couple of big plays, and we're going to cover a lot of them here today on Undergrowth TV. Are you puffing and panning because you just played the guitar? Yeah, because I had to kind of sit like that. And it was pretty hard work. Oh, okay. I didn't just try and sing and perform for the camera. It's a, it's a tough gig. It's tough, isn't it? Um, rugby League, so what's going on? I heard a little bit of a whisper. I don't know how... Um, oh, geez, you don't muck around straight off the bat. Yeah. Um, a little birdie told me. I'm not sure how true it is. But um, with the, the para board situation, it's pretty quiet at them. It's been quiet the last couple of weeks. Yep. But um, it might be coming to a head pretty quickly. Um, and the, there's two options, apparently, what I heard, is that the, um, if the board decide to stand down, yeah. a certain amount of the board, um, there'll be four points, four competition points lost. Yep. But if they stay... Yep. Um, there's 12 points, 10 to 12 points loss. Okay, so how does that work then? If you're found guilty, they're found guilty, what is it uh, up to them whether or not it's 4 or 12 points? I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit strange. The, the, the team, overall, the team shouldn't be punished at all because it was, it was a few years ago. Yeah, I know. The, I guess the thing is that um, the NRL have to be scary because otherwise... Mm-hmm clubs might think they can get away in the future if the only repercussion is the board have to stand down. I guess if they punish the whole organisation, then they can't, yeah, just mm. get out with that little get-out clause, I guess. So no, Yeah, I don't understand. I don't agree with it. Oh, they shouldn't because they don't deserve to. They, that, that team, the coach and that team, have done everything they can to get to where they are, and they're playing awesome footy. Absolutely. Heaps better than yep. for a long time. The defence is unbelievable. They're taking the ball to the line and... Kieran Foran's directing them around the park like nothing else, and it'd be such a shame. It's the best start they've had for a while, yeah. You would think, though, if it comes to that ultimatum, the board would have to stand down because you could not go to sleep at night thinking that if you did step down, you'd have uh, eight less points taken off you, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, as I said, that's a birdie told me. I don't know how true that all that is. Is a birdie? I can't, man, I can't say. It's a bird of some sort. Greg Bird? <laughs> no. Is it a Gregory? Um, but yeah. yeah, it's interesting, and it's got to come to a head pretty soon. So um, yeah, well, yeah. tell us what you think, guys. What do you reckon should happen? I don't think the players should be punished, and the fans should be punished. But I'm tipping that's what they're going to do. Should the board just step down? They're going to have to. If it's twelve points or four points, depending on whether they step down or not, you'd have to, wouldn't you? If they stay, if they stay on the board, and after that ultimatum, then you got to realise it's all about them. Yeah. I, I can't... Look, have, what's he going to say? What are they going to say when they step away anyway? Oh, we only stepped away because we think that it's for the club. Oh, it's just well, a joke. Yeah, anyway. But it's interesting times coming up. The anyway, season. despite the loss against the Panthers on the bill, they're yeah. on fire, the Eels. It's good to see. The club, the boys are happy. I'll yep. speak to the boys a little bit. They're all, you know, pumped up with the way things are going. And yep. this would be an awful speed up for them if they were to lose... Four to twelve points. It's, yeah, it's just it's it's sad. Wouldn't, eh? it, would, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be right. All yeah. right. Well, our next issue is um, the in the Bulldogs Raiders game last night. There was a couple of issues. The main one being the bottle thrown at the um, at the bench of the Raiders players. What about that? A uh, wild turkey bottle, an empty wild turkey bottle, was hurled towards the exercise bikes and smashed. And just imagine that was. One of the officials... Well, if it connected to anyone, it yeah, would have anyone, damage. Yeah, anyone, anyone. But imagine, you know, some of the officials are older guys. If You know, mm. maybe a footy player might be able to wear that to the back of the scone, opposed to, say, an old man or an old lady walking past, the timekeeper, yep. the officials, whatever, smashes one of them in the face and cuts them to pieces and knocks them out and potentially fat, fatal. No, absolutely. It might sound a little bit crazy, but it's not really. It's throwing a bloody throw, glass bottle. If you throw a bottle into a crowd, anything hard like that, you... It can just do any type of damage. So they apparently they've identified who the person is. Raylan Castle was speaking about it last night in an article, saying that she's they've identified who they think it is, and you'd have to say that's a life ban, wouldn't you? Oh, it'd have to be. Easy. If you're letting emotion get in the way of you attending a sporting fixture and passionately supporting your team, and it's getting that far in the way that you're lashing out with a, a throw of a bottle, 
you're not you shouldn't be there no absolutely no you mix a passionate fan with was the bottle empty oh, yeah well, yeah so it's what uh, wild turkey it's whiskey so if he's if he's down that and on top of the um, emotion from yeah. the show it's it's got to turn you into a crazy person yeah you gotta, you gotta it's just as sad that it happens with the dogs one percent of the dogs fan so often because yeah, like look we, we've grown up playing for Parramatta and our biggest rivals are the doggies but we've had nothing but you know praise from the doggies fans and then good times with the doggies fans yeah. even as much as they hate you once you're in the jersey they love you after the game and yeah. you have a chat to them and I went to an NRL game last year for the footy show and sat in the bunker for the Rabbitohs yeah. uh, the, the burrow and then sat in the, the the kennel for the doggies and everyone was great till the end when there was a decision that went against them mm. uh, with the referees there and it just turned into a shit fight and uh, it was one percent of them yeah. But being violent, it, it becomes the headline. So, yeah, I reckon you've got to find the person, piss them off. You have to. A, 1% of any, anything is a... You know, if it's opposite of what the, the, the masses is, is, it's a drama. That's right, sort. that's right. Uh, all right, well, it's a bit of anarchy there for the Doggies fans again, unfortunately, in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. But hopefully they can weed him out, get him out and move on. A moment of madness. A moment of madness. And we will also be talking about a moment of madness that... Our good mate Grub Reynolds, Josh Grub Reynolds, had. That's his nickname. Is it? Just making up. No, no, yeah, they call him Grub. No. He's a legend. I've seen him all the time. He's a real nice fella. Yep. He goes out of his way to say hello, but he's had a little, not even a brain snap, really. I think him and Aiden Caesar grew up playing footy oh. together, and he was, Aiden Caesar was feeding the ball in the scrum, as you see in the photo that we put up, and Josh has, has gone in for the little tickle. He's going for the ball, wasn't he? He's, He's gone for the, the balls, mm. unless yeah, Aiden's had an operation recently. And, right. um, he's gone for plural there, and he's given him a little tickle. It's it's unfortunate that today with the social media that this thing will be replayed and replayed, and even us talking about it, just yeah, it's, well, I, I it's think just it, constantly getting brought up, and here we are. But well, it probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, I guess, in, in light of... Because they're labelling it like the next job, John Hubbardy thing. He didn't insert a digit, but he... he <laughs> you know what it looked like? It looked like Aiden dropped his guts and he was just nicely putting it back where it come from <laughs> he was sending it back home okay <laughs> yeah but no it doesn't look great i guess for kids and it's a brand and all that stuff but oh, oh, i don't know if he's going to get punished i hope not because that's a slap on the wrist for me I, it's better if he does something like that than than jump on someone's head or well 100 or, or gives away yeah. penalty. he didn't give away a penalty did he no, but no. I don't know if, if the ref had seen that at the time. Maybe, I don't know what, what the rule... I don't know. Yeah. What would the ref say? Well, you can't... All right, no ball handling there. Penalty. You can't... I could, you're not allowed to touch people's balls. Like, well, well, well Hopper White is a bit more extreme. But yeah, you're just not allowed to. So I can see that they're putting a black and white rule on it, but... What have they said? Have you heard any comment on well, it? Well, they're just labelling it the Hopper Whitey and it's a brain explosion and oh, all this stuff. I paper. feel like he was just friend... He knows Aiden well, and he... Thought he'd give him a little tickle and distract him as he's feeding the ball into the scrum. He thought he'd feed his balls outside of the scrum. So that's the way it went down, and we're waiting to see what's going to happen there. But no, big week of footy, and there's a big week coming up as well. It's just getting better and better, rugby league. What a, what a year of uh, uh, rugby league season is. It's just a roller coaster of emotion, isn't it? It is. It's all over the place, up and down, in and out. And you wouldn't change it though, would you? No. They, all the drama and all stuff, obviously, you'd you know, handpick some certain things, like the bottle getting thrown and whatnot. But yep. yeah, it's just great to be involved with the, the roller coaster that is rugby league. And coming very soon is obviously to the State of Origin. That's going to be the talk very soon. Yeah, definitely, every... guys. I'd love you to let us know underneath this video, put down what your uh, New South Wales Origin team is. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say Tedesco, Lachlan Coote. You and said Tedesco Dugan. very loudly then. What? T sorry. Tedesco. Tedesco, Coote and Dugan. I reckon they're all playing decent footy. You know, with the exception Dugan was in a poorly losing side on the weekend. Yep. But I think they're all playing the kind of footy. You put them all in the team and let that that enthusiasm and that live wire type of footy breed. So who are the, who are the three? Tedesco, um, Dugan, and Coote. What Lachlan about Coote? What about the um, the Canberra Raider? I uh, have Austin in there. Blake Austin's in there. I'm just talking about the the because it's hard because okay. they're all playing similar positions. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'd have Austin in there 100, percent and I think you got to have Pierce. We'll wait and see how he plays when he gets back. But I'm feeling like Pierce and Austin are, for me, that solid base for halves. And then putting some freakish talent, like just let them run wild. Just let them go. Like they're playing enthusiastically. Let them go. Hopefully it breeds. Because we've got to, even if we look to the next few years, opposed to just winning this year, I know it sounds 
like a cop out, but we've got to go do something different. Well, I think they should just pick uh, whoever's in form. I think that should be just a simple format, and uh, like, you can't go wrong. Yeah, I, I really, well, if you, you can. You're well, playing against the best of the best. Well, you I can know. go wrong there, but I mean, you've you've picked the team on form, and that's and if they're not good enough, they're not good enough. It's simple as that. Have a go at the plethora of depth that um, the Queenslanders have. You know, in the halves, like you got Thurston. Yep. You know, God forbid anything happened to him. You got Milford. You got Ben Hunt. They just keep coming. Bonnet, uh, Morgan. Yep. It's just it's non-stop, mm. and, and every good half that seems to be coming through, unfortunately, is just a Queenslander. Yep. But um, no, nah, mate, it's going to be another good series. And yeah, I reckon mix it up. Throw some live wire talent in there. Throw some big boppers in there. Um, Junior Paulo for Para, legible for the Blues. Really? Yeah. Well, you got to have him in there, surely. He's a wrecking ball. He's a wrecking ball, and we need more wrecking balls in the Blues pack. Yep. Anyway, guys, if you, it'd be really good. Write down your um, your teams below, your Blues teams, and uh, yeah, any other comments you have for us. Um, if you can, share this video. It'd be great. Um, and next week, we're actually going to start giving away a prize each week. So... Uh, everybody who shares our stuff eventually will um, be in the running to win these prizes, which are going to be memorabilia of pro sports memorabilia. Pro sports memorabilia. Uh, so kindly donating the kindly um, donated, yeah, the uh, an item each week to the value of around three hundred dollars each time. That's so correct, yep. that's awesome. We'll be able to give that away to you guys if you share and comment and uh, yeah, engage with us and get us out there. But um, no, it's been another good episode. Uh, thanks to the Doobie well, Brothers. A matter of opinion. Well, it's been a good episode. From where I'm sitting, right. Okay. I feel like I was on fire. I probably got the Dally M three points again. Yeah, you've got two. Bulls got one. What Actually, about... Bulls got the two. He's probably outshadowed you today. Okay. Well, um, I'm I'm in front as far as the tipping is concerned. Yeah, you're about, um, I'm 45 and you're 22 or something. Yeah, but um, that's another week of uh, Undergrowth TV uh, footy stuff, and we'll be back next week. But um, check out our audio podcast too. We put that out there. Um, I'll put the link up on Twitter and Facebook, and and this will be out for you to watch which you're watching it now then it's already out isn't it so forget everything I just said but cheers dribbler you're a dribbler I'm a dribbler well someone's got to friggin run this ship my phone's ringing alright mum <laughs>